friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTGB Advanced Agile Technical Tester. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the last topic of it that is 3.2 level of automation and covering one sub segment topic of that that is 3.2.1 understanding the level of test automation needed. In this particular tutorial, we're actually going to talk about what kind of levels of test automation are basically required to be executed in terms of meeting the expectation of the automation inside a Agile environment. Whereas we do understand automation is an important element in Agile project because it is not only uh, going to do the job of uh, the automation but also it covers a lot of additional things with respect to unit testing, build deployments or uh, integrations, a lot of other things are also automated so it putting it together it generally adds a lot of value so of course there are a lot of effort which is required to do the automation testing but at the same time as we are actually having most of the things or 80% of automation involved in a project does that really mean that we are talking about automating everything we need to understand what kind of executions, what kind of levels are involved when it comes to test automation. So one of the important thing is continuous deployment, which is of course uh, automatic deployment for any new version into the production environment. Whereas continuous deployment, deployment takes place at regular and short intervals. Now as it happens regularly and at short intervals of time, it obviously will turn into a lot of P test cases required to be integrated or executed at that point of time. So consistently it increases from time to time and pr probably become a lot of complications will be built in terms to or in order to make sure that it is maintained well, it is executed well, it is recorded well, it is captured well and as we talk about a big scene or scenario in terms of automation test suite, of course, um, it might pile up together to uh, create complexity or create criticality to define which tests are no longer required or which test cases are required to be used at this point of time. Because every time you have an integration involved, which is quite frequent in Agile again, uh, would obviously turn into repetition of the test cases from the point of regression, but not mandatorily all the test cases are required. So it basically becomes very crucial when it comes to this kind of understanding that yes, though we have automation, but not everything, but yes, at the same time, what is that you will be executing and what is that you can excuse to save your time and have less maintenance cost. Since continuous deployment is an automated process, of course, the automated test must be sufficient to maintain the required level of code quality. Merely executing automated unit tests is not enough to achieve sufficient test coverage. So putting it all together, we are going to get into a detail of that, what kind of executions, what kind of challenges do we face with respect to automation and what level of test automation is needed. Further understanding that what are the challenges which can be faced with respect to test automation in Agile setting. So we have four of them listed here. One is the test suite volume. As we were just talking about the similar thing that each iteration you have something implemented and it is continuously integrated to products functionality and agile team must maintain and enhance the test suite after every iteration is complete because every iteration will add new feature probably include new test cases and it will start accumulating together this means that the number of test cases within the test suite increases by default from iteration to iteration which requires a careful and deliberate effort to refactor the test to increase the coverage without significantly increasing the size. So I think this is what we were just talking about uh, earlier that when it comes to increasing size of your regression test suite, it is really important that you decide what tests will be executed so you prioritize them and look forward that what can be and what should not be done here. The test development time, the tests needed to verify the product's new or change functionality have to be designed and implemented. This includes creating or updating the necessary test data and preparing any updates to the environment. The test maintainability also affects the development time because you would be taking a long time to uh, update them or reduce them or remove them. So of course, the development will be indirectly in implemented, impacted. 
The test execution time, of course, there's no question asked on that. The increasing test suite volume will lead to an increasing amount of the time needed for executing them. Whereas staff availability, as we talk about the short and simple teams who works on agile environment, the staff needed to create, maintain, and execute the test suite must be available for each deployment. It may be difficult or impossible to ensure this over the course of project, especially during holidays, weekends, or if deployments occur at off hours. So it's really important that you organize the team in such a way that someone is actually available to take care of such uh, adverse events to happen and maintain the other part of it. So one of the strategies to address these challenges is to minimize the test suite by selecting, preparing, and executing only a subset of tests by prioritizing the test or using the risk analysis. The strategy has the disadvantages as well that will it will increase the risk because it implies a reduced number of executed tests. So please be careful with that. So do not compromise, do reduce, but do not compromise with the quality. Additionally, of course, we are talking about the benefits of this. So let's look at more about this. The test automation is an operative instrument to keep up with the increase, the speed of the deployment in any project and is the premises for the continuous deploy deployment. To find the right amount of test automation that can keep up with the speed of deployment, the following benefits and limitations can be analyzed and balanced. So benefits include the test automation can guarantee a defined and repeatable level of test coverage for each development cycle. I think that's a very generic statement when it comes to benefits of automation that, yes, it guarantees a defined and repeatable level of test coverage, which we can always look into. The test automation can decrease the test execution time and help to increase the speed of deployment. Of course, that will reduce your time of execution. Test automation can diminish limits for achieving higher deployment frequency. It's quite frequent uh, deployments can happen when you have automation deployed for uh, the build deployments. Continuous deployment supports shortening of the time to market and user feedback loops as well. Whereas test automation can occur more frequently, which allows all tests to be executed with every build offering a stable mainline in CI where software is merged to maintain as often as possible. So we, we are actually quite familiar with the quite common benefits of the uh, automation level which is required to be implemented as a part of Agile. But let's quickly look at the, some of the limitations of the same. Well, limitation size, the test automation requires step, test development and maintenance effort, which themselves may lengthen the duration of the development and thus decrease deployment frequency. So if you quickly recall the thing which we just spoke about is that as we have a frequent and continuous uh, deployments, probably the test counts will increase time by time. And of course, it will pile up together, accumulate together to create a big chunk of uh, test cases, which might not be possible to execute every time you have a new build deployed. So it's really important to maintain such things. Test at the system test level and especially loader performance test might need a long time for execution even if automated, because there will be a lot of factors, of course, and a lot of other ingredients which need to be captured at the point of executing them. So no matter you're automating, but of course there's a heavy suite with you, so it would take a long time. Automated tests can fail due to many factors. A past automated test case may not be reliable in terms of like false negative. A failed automated test case may fail due to an error not related to the product's quality or due to a false positive. So. Of course, these are the scenarios which we know again from Agile Foundation certification that there are scenarios where we as try to make it as complicated as possible or make it more complex and complex. Things may turn out in different manner. Probably you talk about the false negative or false positive scenario, which might turn into a waste of time. And of course, considering the re-execution of the test cases. And when you talk about re-execution, of course, that requires additional time and effort to do that job. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm there to address your queries and answer them well. We'll be getting back to you with the sample questions on chapter three. We are done with this, so just uh, look forward tomorrow to have the sample questions from this particular chapter. And uh, till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.